Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll review my personal favorite full body screen protective rugged buffer case to protect your iPhone 12 mini or pretty much any phone from the iPhone 12 lineup. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartphones like this one, smartwatch reviews, tech tutorials, and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for Apple tech videos. Be sure to check it out. And if you want, you can support my channel by becoming a member at a small monthly charge with all the perks that I'll offer. Click this join button to check out all the perks of becoming a member. Also check out some cool merch under the store tab and check out as well as subscribe to my second YouTube channel for mobile friendly short video content. I have been using this iPhone 12 mini for quite a while and this phone truly deserves the title of the smallest and the lightest 5G flagship level smartphone. Check out its full review linked up in the card section and at the end of this video. Now I personally like to preserve the shine of my phones and it's always a good idea to protect your glass phones especially when nowadays all the smartphones have glass on front as well as back. Despite of this phone having the ceramic coated Gorilla Glass, as Jerry says, glass is glass and it will break. So today I have the full body screen protective case from FYY, which not only protects this iPhone 12 mini from drops and fall, but also protects the screen. Not just that, the manufacturer claims that it's made from some sort of antibacterial material. They even have this analysis and test results on their Amazon page which shows the bacteria like E. coli, Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas and Klebsiella. With the amount of bacteria present on an untreated test specimen immediately after the inoculation on untreated surface after 24 hours compared to the amount on treated material after 24 hours, antibacterial activity and rate. These numbers seem pretty impressive but I don't have any means to test it out. However, there are three certification seals on the top right of this test result. So consider using it at your own discretion. Anyways, they offer such cases for a variety of phone with various styling options from leather wallet type case to TPU bumper case as well as full body screen protective case like this one. And unlike other smartphone case manufacturers, they are relatively inexpensive and are a good value for the money you pay. With that said, such a case for iPhone 12 mini is listed on Amazon for only 14 Canadian dollar, which is definitely affordable. So it came in a box like this one. It says FYY is established since 1998 and they are a leather expert. I have checked out their inventory and they indeed have a decent leather wallet case collection worth to check it out. I have linked their store in the video description. At the back again it says antibacterial phone case provides protection against bacteria like Klebsiella, E. coli, Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas and Candida. Let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the box you get a nice easy to follow 5 step installation guide, a thank you card with their social media links and a letter to thank for the purchase and leave them a review on their Amazon page. Now let's go ahead and pull out the case itself for which you all have been waiting for. Just holding the case in my hand it feels very lightweight and it's very grippy to hold. There are no chances that this case will slip off your hand. Now let's go ahead and peel off the stickers from the screen protector. Such cases have a corner lip to slide your nail to pop out the bottom half of the case which isn't that hard and you don't really need to have long nails to do that either. Inside it there is a styrofoam phone mold with silica gel and another sticker on the inside of the screen protector. Let's go ahead and peel that off. And then your phone goes on the top part that has the screen protector first. Make sure to align the buttons properly. It clicks in place very easily. Finally, you just have to slide on the bottom part of the case. A trick here is to start off from one end and then work your way around. It should click in place and the edges should perfectly line up. That's it, the case looks pretty good and it does not add any weight to the phone. Overall, the phone still feels very lightweight. 
Now let's have a look around. So the case does add a bit of a bulk to the phone, but that is expected with any sort of full body case. In the front there is a plastic screen protector. It's not a tempered glass screen protector. So yes, you can scratch it, but good thing it's not glass, so it will not break when it falls. So that's the plus point. There is a cutout on the top for the earpiece, face ID sensor, as well as the selfie camera. It's really good to have the selfie camera not covered with the screen protector as sometimes it creates a glare, especially if there is a bit of a gap in between or moisture as well as some dust accumulated over there. Now on the left hand side there is the ring silent switch which sits very deep inside so it's sort of hard to reach it but without any nails I can still manage to turn it on and off. The volume rocker buttons has a nice satisfying click to it. The SIM card tray is covered so you have to remove the case to eject the SIM card which is not what you guys do all the time. On the other side there is the power button, also prominent and very clicky. At the bottom there is a nice cutout for speaker and microphone. That way the speaker will not sound muffled. Now let's test out if a bulky port can still be inserted. So you can see on top of this bulky port, there is still enough room left to accommodate even a bulkier port than this. So that is a plus point. You don't need to take it off for charging. The camera bump at the back of the phone sits quite deep inside the case. So there is no way that the camera bump will get scratched, which is another added bonus. But that being said, I wonder if the case is thick enough for wireless charging. Let's test it out with my Samsung's wireless charger. As you can see, it does charge. So you don't need to take it off for wireless charging. I think due to this case, the magnetic strength of any MagSafe accessory will reduce. So I wouldn't use the MagSafe wallet as it may not stick properly. You can see that this magnetic card doesn't stick with this case on. But I can easily stick it when the case is off. So this case is not recommended for any MagSafe accessory. Now I really like the textured back of the phone. It does add a strong grip. At the front there is a raised lip which will protect the screen protector from a direct impact from a fall. Now I have drop tested this case from a pocket height of about 4 feet and nothing happened as that's the most common height for a fall. Now as mentioned earlier, I don't have any mean to test out the antibacterial material. The screen protector as said earlier will scratch as it's plastic, but since it's not a glass, it will not break on a fall. So I really wouldn't mind having a plastic screen protector as if it does get scratched, I can replace it. In terms of touch receptiveness, it's not at all affected. The display still registers every single touch. The face ID is also not affected. Now I have reviewed a lot of smartphone cases on this channel. I really like the magnetic full body case for aesthetics. As you can see this full body magnetic case for my iPhone SE 2020 which I have reviewed in a video linked up in the card section. But the major drawback with such case is that they are not good for protection as they have glass both on front as well as back. It's really easy to break them from a fall. And I have broken such case in the past. So for protection, I would rather have this FYY case versus the magnetic case. So here is my final say. Apart from the MagSafe accessory functionality, this is a very good full body screen protective case. I can easily recommend this to anyone looking for a top notch protection for your iPhone 12 unless if you specifically want MagSafe accessories to stick strongly. But keep in mind the wireless charging works flawlessly so you shouldn't have any issues with it. Let me know what sort of case you guys are using for your iPhones in the comments down below. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.